right. I think they got one, two more. I can get away with that. Another one for Amsterdam called The Last Wave of My City. I'm sorry, The Last Wave for My City. It's the last wave for my dying city and I'm riding it. Running out of time to turn the tide to make the dry rot subside or watch it take over. The tipping walls and caving roofs, it's lighting shingles that leave black eyes open to blue skies like empty cups to drink pouring rain. And I can hear the slate slip and slap down and I can see shards splinter to the ground returning to earth. And the plywood pounded over windows no more. And the phantom factories with workers no more. And for each fallen porch and broken stairway to nowhere you see nature taking over, engulfing what was hers. The crunch of broken bricks like red crumbs beneath my feet reminds me that time waits, patient and relentless. To have lived a life here is to hear the whisper of bygone voices echo through these empty streets. And as I walk alone among old ghost homes, I hear the warp wood creak and groan and the clutch of roasty nails pulling and popping, giving up and letting go. And the mist of memory fades like a brittle picture slowly vanishing. And every day is a history less remembered. Today, less than yesterday, when there was, but now, there isn't. So there's a few of you that I've gotten to know just a little bit through my poetry over the last six months. Um, just a quick note on who I am, what I do. I wear many hats. I'm actually an urban planner by profession. I've, I've worked for the Regional Planning Commission here in Albany for about 13 years. I'm also an adjunct instructor, instructor at New Albany. I teach geographic information systems, which is fancy computerized mapping. And I've been a musician, I'm 40, going on 46, and I've been a musician since I was 10 years old. And I record and perform with the Alex Torres uh, Orchestra, and we're about to record CD number nine. Uh, Jimmy Fontanez, our illustrious Bongo Cero, is over here tonight. That's up to Jimmy. And so this is a somewhat autobiographical poem, and of course, a metaphorical sense. It's called I Am. I am adrift in a world of wonder. Even in tragedy, I find love. I am lost on a straight path, but in the web of crossroads, the fork is my comfort. I am standing strong-bodied, learning strength without it, learning to accept time. I am a vessel for ancient gods who call rhythms through my hands. I am a voice of warm unreason, a contrarian to cold logic. I am a mirror to my society reflecting shadows to give them light. I am a branch on the oak of the world dropping acorns and scattering red leaves. I am a patriot wearing wolf's clothes, howling cries of freedom from a hill with no flag. I am a son, a brother, a father, a lover, a neighbor, and a citizen of the world. I am a connoisseur of chaos, peddling conceptual contemplations. I am a manipulator of signs and symbols, sending smoke signals to singe your soul. I fling love notes from rooftops like postcards from Paradise Lost. I am searching for sensitive visions, seeking salvation without religion. I am a teacher of subversive logic, painting pictures with indelible ink. I am a star among a gazillion galaxies, burning bright and already dead. And if there's a reason for stars, please tell me so I know the reason I am. Thank you. Amsterdam.
Get your beer, get the hell out. You're done. You had your 20 minutes, move on. Our next reader up is the most dressed poet in Albany. No. The most dressed poet in Albany, ladies and gentlemen, the leather bound R. M. Engelhart. I did not, no, because I don't believe that to be true. Good evening. Vox, last Friday of each month at the Fuse Box, 8 p.m. sign up, 8.30 start time. Next one is February 27th. Marcus Kwame Anderson is going to be our featured poet. And coming in March, last Friday in March at the Fuse Box, Mary Panza, Josh Turner, Nicole Karras will be our featured poets. And that will be Charles Bukowski Tribute Night, or as we like to call it, Book Fest. So, and tentative, I do say tentative in April, the Alexander Holiday and Algorithm. I'm going to be reading that. I have two pieces. One is mine. One is by a gentleman named Michael Stanley, one of my favorite musicians. I kind of missed the Albany Poets Lyrics Night over at Valentine's. So uh, I'm going to start off with mine. And this is called Word Eternal. Voice. Can you hear me? Sirens, creation, songs, these momentary gestures, gifts, wrapped in languages beyond your ability to nearly comprehend. Old Angel Midnight scratching his head, eyes too tired to fish, catches nothing but world will. Your blind muses are sleeping, suffocated by the rationale of conformity and lack of feel. Keep your idle rhymes and your aging rhythms, lackluster poems about hollow men. Novalis once dreamt, Whitman is turning his head away from your attempts. No more clinging to the wreckage, no more a century, no more voice, mind. Can you see? Hear what the poets are saying on street corners and cafes in ancient cities, in America and beyond competition, corruption, the desertion of love, mass existence of follow the leader mind. This is the word eternal. This is a new transmission. Honest and real. It's time. <laughs> 